disrupt D.C. CEO and President Charlie Cole. Charlie, good to see you. Thanks for joining the conversation. You're and welcome. you're Thank launching you. Disrupt D.C. today. This is a nonpartisan business coalition for better government and elections. What do you hope to see from the meeting today? Well, first of all, I think it's a good thing that the president is holding this summit. And here's the fact. We have the technology now to upgrade government from end to end. We've seen disasters in the Affordable Care Act rollout, uh, problems with the Veterans Administration, political campaigns being hacked, banks, and even the Office of Personnel Management being hacked. So we've got the capability to get this right to disrupt the way uh, business has currently been done. And Harvard professor Michael Porter said that the number one thing standing in the way of greater competitiveness and economic growth is our dysfunctional government. Uh, it's Mike Murphy here. I, I'm hoping that when these business leaders meet with President Trump today, although it's important to attack how technology is going to help the government and to interact with people, I'm hoping it kind of brings together both sides, you know, and left, right, Republican, Democrat, and realize that working on one agenda can can really advance that and move all of us forward and then maybe move that on to tax reform or health care reform is there is that part of this could, could that am i being too optimistic here uh, not, not in the least. I, I mean, this is a nonpartisan, bipartisan agenda. This is a real opportunity to make progress, to cut through all the sort of political garbage here and really function, focus on what the American people need, what our government needs in order to, uh, to function. We want to see also so technology applied to uh, elections and better voting, the way public policy is made, and that's the point you just raised, Mike, and then more broadly uh, in terms of how the government functions overall. Hey, Charlie, uh, Mike Baker here. Uh, because we only have guys named Mike on the show this morning. Uh, <laughs> do you think it's really uh, realistic to talk about something that could be done in a nonpartisan, bipartisan manner in today's environment? Look, I'm an optimist. If you've got good ideas and there's a public need, I'm convinced that we can break through this. I mean, this situation now, it's unfortunate, but we need leadership, bipartisan leadership, leadership from the business community, and we can make a difference. I've seen it before. I ran a public policy business-led think tank for 15 years, the Committee for Economic Development. We had an impact on campaign finance reform, early childhood education. Business is an important voice here, and again, I think ex exactly this type of a technology council here can show the American people that people can come together and get things done. What we about, need this. What about getting things done in terms of the agenda? I mean, you know, yesterday I spoke with Alabama Congressman Mo Brooks uh, on Sunday Morning Futures who walked through whether or not we are going to see things like health care reform and tax reform this year. Listen to this. The Senate, once again, is empowering the Democrats to be obstructionists and to block what President Trump, what a majority of the House and the majority of the Senate was elected to accomplish, much to the dissatisfaction of all those voters who sent us to Washington, D.C. So unless the Senate changes the way in which they operate, I'm afraid you're going to continue to see this kind of deadlock without the kind of improvements that the people sent us to Washington, D.C. to implement. So, Charlie, you say Disrupt D.C. is trying to break that type of gridlock in Washington, and yet you've got all the finger pointing going on right now. Why is the Senate sitting on the health care bill? When are we actually going to get uh, movement on this agenda? Well, it's a matter of public will, I think, and also among our elected officials. Look, Maria, in 1986, Ronald Reagan forged a bipartisan working group with Senator Bill Bradley, uh, Dan Rostenkowski, and they got tax reform through. They cleared out a lot of the, uh, the, the mess in the tax reform. It lasted for 20-some years. The barnacles have grown back. We need to do that again. So there are examples when we've done it before. And unfortunately, um, things like happened uh, in a neighborhood not too far from my house in Alexandria, Virginia last week show the importance of putting aside this uh, vitriol and for people in the Congress of goodwill coming together and finding a way to do this. I mean, frankly, the American people want this. Yeah. I think they want tax reform. They want lower uh, regulations. They want a government that works. And they want growth that's greater than 2%, which right. is just unacceptable. Right. Well, that's why we want to see if this actually uh, happens this year. Charlie, good to have your insights. Thanks so much.